Hey everyone, this is our crew market update for this week. Um, what we're going to focus in on this week is condominium sales. We've been talking about the general real estate market, every market update, but we want to zero in on condo sales this week because they're showing some remarkable numbers. Yeah, I mean, the condo market is exploding right now. Uh, we're going to show them the numbers, but we'll get into it while you're pulling it up. You know what? What's happening is everything out there, Tim, is selling. Yes. So supply is way down, even in the condo sector, and it's the affordable section in our market. So, Tim, what's happening is people that once wanted to look into buying single family homes or even townhomes, they're now looking into the condo market because that's too expensive for them. Yeah, and if you look at the year to date numbers there, um, condo sales are up almost 25% just in the first nine months, the, the first three quarters. That's phenomenal. We've never seen an increase like that in less than a year in many, many years for the city of Calgary. Um, looking at the average price, it's up almost 8%. So we're seeing increases across the board. The one decrease we're seeing is the days on market. Now that's reflective of the market where there's not enough supply, there's too many buyers competing, competing for the same product. So the days on market are actually right at 30 and that's down 30% from the previous year. Yeah, and you look at it behind us, we've got the belt line. We were looking for two bedrooms, one bathroom condo the other day. Tim, there was nine listings, it's Yeah, just incredible. So we don't know when the supply is gonna come on. And the problem is, is that many of the cranes that you see downtown, they're actual rental buildings going in. They're not units for sale. So how's that gonna change the market, Tim? Yeah, so we're not gonna be flooded with new inventory because a lot of that, like as I said, it's gonna be rentals right off the bat. So it'll be competing with other rental properties on the market, but we need that right now because rental rates are also going through the roof. They're sky high right now. Yeah. Um, so if you're in, if you own one of these condos downtown, you're in a great position to maximize your cash flow by charging a maximum rent. Um, but back to the to the supply coming on, if we're not getting enough supply to satisfy this demand, we're only going to see increases in prices and also decreases in uh, availability. Yeah. So all of these factors are working to the advantage of real estate investors. Right yeah, now. our numbers are showing that it should continue upwards of 10 to 15% from where they are right now. The average should be sitting around 350,000. I mean, these same condos in Toronto, Vancouver start in over 650,000. It's crazy. So we're nowhere near. Yeah, and speaking to the larger markets as well, they have cranes all over downtown Vancouver and all over downtown Toronto. We're just starting to see them crop up. I can see one over my left shoulder here. Uh, we're just starting to see the bigger developers start to build the towers again, and they take a couple of years to come online. So they may be digging a hole in the ground right now, but they're not going to be selling those condos for two to three years. Yeah. So, you know, what's next? Is it a good time to sell? It may be a good time to upgrade your portfolio if you're thinking of getting out of the condo market or maybe a good time to hold. It's up to you. So that's our real estate market update. Hope you enjoyed it.